Health Alert Now on Cannabis and Cardiovascular Health. A warning from the American Heart Association. They find that marijuana is linked to an increased risk of heart trouble, including heart attacks and heart failure. Janae Norman has the details. Good morning, Janae. Hey, George. Good morning. Yeah, would you believe that during the pandemic, the marijuana business is booming, already on track to outpace all of last year as the AHA took a look at how both recreational and medicinal use impact cardiovascular health. This morning, as sales of marijuana soared during the pandemic, a new warning from the American Heart Association that the marijuana millions use may actually be hurting their hearts. In a new review of studies, the organization finding cannabis use may be linked to an increased risk of heart attacks and heart failure. There have certainly been reports of people with heart rhythm abnormalities, hospitalized patients who have uh, more complications of uh, their heart attack, for example, when they're hospitalized uh, with a heart attack or heart failure. Dr. Rosemary Robertson, the deputy chief science and medical officer of the AHA, cautioning more research needs to be done after multiple studies found smoking the THC in cannabis could shrink blood vessels that feed the heart and lungs. I think uh, it's clear to us that using marijuana uh, thinking that it might help your heart or be good for the cardiovascular system, there is no evidence for that. The evidence that it can harm you uh, is uh, also anecdotal, but there is some. Researchers also finding that edible marijuana appears to be associated with even more harmful heart and psychiatric complications because of the amount of THC absorbed into the body system. But CBD is different. Studies finding that the portion of the marijuana plant that doesn't produce a high has actually been associated with a reduced heart rate and lower blood pressure. This as purchases of marijuana spike. When the country went on lockdown in March, more than a dozen states deemed cannabis stores and medical marijuana dispensaries essential businesses. In Colorado, retail marijuana sales in May were $35 million higher than in 2019. And both Oregon and Washington state seeing their cannabis sales spike through the late spring and early summer as consumers spend more time at home. And so more research is needed and the AHA suggests that the DEA remove cannabis as a schedule one controlled substance so that it can be widely studied because as it stands now as a schedule one drug cannabis is defined as having no medical use and a high potential for abuse guys. Okay, Jay, thanks very much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.